what's up everybody this is blue on my way home um just left jersey a while ago and i got gray hair i was acting like grandpa but i uh, listen i just put up a post you know how black people are talking about they're so proud that we got a black president and i'm saying like if black men and black people in general are so proud that we got a black president why are not people not emulating him and dressing like him why you got these young guys still walking around with their jeans hanging off their ass showing the crack of their butt and they show the crack of their butt literally because they're wearing these we, you know back in the days when like before even Tupac started doing it because Tupac was like one of the guys that made it real known but guys always wear their pants saggy and one reason we wore our pants we wore our pants like that is because our parents was poor and they would buy our jeans for us too big and, and with the expectation that we would grow up into those jeans because they were big, so we would have to grow up into them. You know, because they wasn't able to buy us jeans all the time. So, so you would grow up into them, and then once they got too small, then you would hand them down to your younger brothers or, or cousins or whatever that was under you. But then sagging jeans became a style. Just like holy jeans became a style, because you, uh, once you put a hole in them, you know, that was a white dude style. Black dudes were walking around with holy jeans. We, you know, I remember back in the days, we used to iron our jeans. We used to iron our jeans real hard. We used to wear lead jeans and get a permanent crease in them at the cleaners. And we used to iron the shit out of our, our, the shit out of our jeans. We used to put them on the ironing board and starch them. And starch them real hard. And your pants would be looking like cardboard. And we didn't wear our pants cuffed over. We wore them cuffed under. And we used to wear British walkers back in the days. We used to be dressed up with our jean suits on. But now, like I said, sagging jeans is a style. We used to wear boxes. We wasn't wearing boxer briefs because boxer briefs wasn't out back then. We used to wear boxes. So it wasn't showing, it wasn't showing your butt. It wasn't showing the shape of your butt. Because you couldn't see because the boxes are too uh, baggy. But now guys are wearing jaggy, saggy jeans. And they're wearing them with boxer briefs. And you can see the big butt print. That should look real gay, but uh, like I was saying, if guys, if Obama's such a role model, how come guys are not walking around with suits and ties on? How come they still walking around with big t-shirts, big t-shirts, big dreams, big baseball hats? Like I said before, everything in the hood that we wear is designed for recreation. It makes us look like we're ready to run, jump, and play basketball at any given time. As a matter of fact, most of the things we wear is baseball hats, football jerseys, and basketball sneakers. Everything we wear is centered around athleticism, being athletic. It's for sport, it's for sport and play. And that's why when somebody dies, if you have a, um, uh, um, if it, uh, that's why if somebody happens to pass away in your family, or you gotta go to court, you don't have shit to wear to court because all your clothes look like you're going to a basketball game. You don't have shit to wear to a funeral because everything you look like you got on look like you're going to play basketball at, a, 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 at, the, at the nearest basketball court or something. So like I said, if, if, if black people are so proud that Obama is, is, is a black president, we got a black president sitting in the house, how come black dudes in the street and in the hood are not walking around with suits and ties on? You know why? Because if you walk around with a suit and tie, everybody think you're a cornball. But remember, and don't forget this, most of the guys that wear suits and ties are the ones that's running the world. They're the bankers, they're the lawyers, they're the doctors, they're the judges. The judges, and, and even the athletes that you see on TV today, when they travel, they got to put on a suit and tie. They don't wear their uniform to the games. They put that shoot, their uniforms on when they're in the locker room. And once the game is over, they change back into their regular clothes, which is a shoot, suit and tie and shoes. I'm just saying, my name is Blue, and I said it.